Okay, so uh, Chicago Cubs training camp is going on, spring training, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's not a whole lot of competition for the infield. The infield and outfield, are, basically all their hitters are kind of decided. The real thing is going to be pitching, but we'll get to that later. Just to go over who's in camp, who can we possibly see down the road, what the deal is. Behind the plate, it's going to be Soto and Hill again. There, there are the catchers. No one else is kind of even close. They got a couple other guys in camp, but it's it's Soto and Hill, without a doubt. First base, it looks like it's going to be Carlos Pena, without a doubt. He's the big $10 million man this year. From all reports from Mike Quaddy, he's going to be going with Tyler Colvin as the backup. Jeff Baker can probably also play a little first base if need be. Um, I think the biggest mistake was not getting Tyler Colvin time at first base last year after Derek Lee got traded. But that's beside the point. They're making up for lost time now. They say they're going to give them a lot of a lot of practice, a lot of game time during spring training to get him uh, comfortable at the position that he has not played for years. I think he played a little bit his freshman year of college. Second base, that's the big competition. Blake DeWitt has the inside track. Everyone hopes it's it's him. Um, hopefully he solidifies the position that they have had a giant hole at since they traded Mark DeRosa. Uh, and they also hope that Blake DeWitt can bat leadoff. Uh, another option would be, again, Jeff Baker. But uh, I think he's better suited for the bench. He's much better as the super utility player who can play anything. And then we got that kid that, who came up last year, Barney, Darwin Barney. I think if he make, even makes the team, he's the backup shortstop. I don't think he's going to make it as the second baseman. And the outfield's basically wrapped up. You got Marlon Bird, you got Colvin, you got Fukudome, you got Soriano. The only real question is if Fernando Perez, the guy they got in the Garza trade, can become that fifth outfielder. I think he's got a good shot to at least make the team out of camp. He can be that base dealer. He can be the pitch runner. He at least serves a purpose, good defender, to come in in maybe those days when they need to pull Soriano, when Colvin's already playing another position or whatnot. So he's got at least a chance. He might get replaced later on in the year for uh, this young outfielder Jackson or one of the other guys they have in the system. So that leaves the Cubs with about 12 fielders. The real only battle is if Barney makes the team or not, and I don't think he will um, just because of the numbers game. I do not like, I'd love for him to make the team because he's the only guy who can really play shortstop besides Starlin Castro. Um, Baker can't really win that second base shot because you need him to back up all these other positions. He's the only other third baseman, second baseman, first baseman. I mean, he is, he's it. He's our whole bench, really. Uh, Tyler Colvin playing first base will help a lot, just on flexibility, getting his bat in the lineup more. Hopefully he's not, uh, hopefully he, the last season wasn't just a flash in the pan. Hopefully there's really something between him and Starlin Castro that uh, we might finally have some young hitters. It, it's going to be real interesting. Uh, but yeah, like I said, all the battles are kind of decided. Second base is the only thing really up for grabs. And uh, Blake DeWitt's a lock. I mean, he's making this team. Baker's making the team. The only real question is if uh, Barnaby or Barney forces Mark, Mike, ugh, Mike Quaddy's hand and makes it necessary for him to stay on this team so that maybe Perez doesn't make it. Maybe they only go with four outfielders to start. Or maybe at the beginning of the season they have 13 hitters and only 12 pitchers. Most NL teams will carry the 13 pitchers, especially in the NL. You almost kind of have to. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Those are the Cubs hitters. Get used to them. There's probably not going to be a lot of change. The goal is probably DeWitt batting leadoff. Ukudome and Baker will get a couple games here or there batting leadoff, probably against lefties or whatnot. Uh, number two will be Starling Star Star Castro. Number three, eh, that's kind of for grabs. My guess would be Marlon Bird. Maybe them with Ramirez band fourth, Pena fifth, um, and then Soriano or Soto six seven, and then uh, whoever else. I mean, I guess 
right field or Colvin or one of those other guy, one of those second basemen when they're in the lineup. It's going to be interesting to see how this lineup shakes out. Um, the batting order wise, I think that we all know who where they're going to be. I'm at personally, I'd say let Soriano go back to leadoff if he's comfortable there. He likes, he always liked playing there. You're not going to get stolen bases, but you're not going to get those out of Blake DeWitt either. Let Soriano bat leadoff. Let Castro bat second. Bird Ramirez Pena. Then he can slide in Colvin and Soto batting sixth, seventh, eighth, however you want to do it. Um, it's going to be real interesting to see what Mike Quaddy does in his first year as manager. Look forward to going over the pitchers a little bit later on. Peace out.